the cup and I'm ready for more and more more. You mean you like cleaning? I like it. I live for it. I'm a pilot fish. It's how I get food. I eat the gunk off of things. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. <laughs> then dinner is served. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. That's filthy. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, look at that. Filthy. Great work, Quasi. These gups have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you're able to do this. And all on your own, too. Um, yes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do it all on my own. You didn't? Quasi, I'm still hungry. I need to eat and clean, clean and eat. You got any more? Um, <laughs> meet my new cleaning assistant, the pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we could find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the gups. And now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. This definitely beats cleaning cups, me hearties. Ah, there's no sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? <gasps> shark! 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 Ah, I don't see a thing. I'd better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. OK, but be careful with it. Of course I'll be careful with it. And why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying fish. <gasps> Stand back, I've got it. Ha ha! Those flying fish took the professor's book. We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. We may have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. <laughs> and look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oh, oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? 
No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first, our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. I've almost caught up with them. Where's the gup E? Huh? What's that dogfish got? You've got the gup finder. But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. Goodbye, me hottie. Nice to meet you. Heave ho, matey! <laughs> 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 Sinking. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> ah, our raft is gone. This is a disaster. Don't worry, Peso. I'll think of something else. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny, would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but Blennies like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See, I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish, spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks! You're a pal! Oh, hello there, Giant Squid. Can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help? All right, I'll tell me friends. How do? Got any news? Aye, Anglerfish. Tell Captain Farnacles that some octagons named Lazy and Ernesto are stuck in some dessert. Go as deep as you can and pass it on. Oh, right. Will do. to napkin carbuncles about some octagons named Hay and Presto. They've deserted or they're stuck or something like that. Anyway, pass it on. Octagons? Stuck? Maybe he meant octonauts. Wait, uh, can you lead me to these octagons? I mean, octonauts? Afraid not, but I can put you in touch with the giant squid what told me about it. Then lead the way. <laughs> That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say ah! Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me feet. Pinto, would you please hand me a stethoscope, a thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. I don't 
There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The, the Naka what? The Nakawak. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of it, he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Nakawak comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, oh, right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, the volcano is getting hotter and the lava is rising. I'm afraid there's not much time before it erupts. Understood, Shellington. We need to get all the creatures out of here fast. Attention, everyone. This is Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. You must all leave here right away. The volcano is about to erupt. Erupt? <coughs> Can't go any faster. Oh no, that sea urchin can't move very fast. Don't worry, we'll help anyone who's having trouble getting away. Put on your deep sea suits. Quasi, you take care of the spiky creatures. This grabber could come in handy. I. Uh, Peso, you take care of the slimy creatures with this net. Got it. 
and I'll take care of the creatures hidden in the rocks. Remember, Octonauts, leave no sea creature behind. Ready. Ahoy there, urchin. Let's get you to safety. Oh, thanks. Aha! There's a slimy one. And it looks like it could use my help. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. stuck to this rock like, well, clams stuck to a rock. Don't worry. If you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey, Another slimy creature that might need our help. Excuse me, but... Shh! Uh, there's a volcano. Quiet. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and... I'm Bob. Bob the Blobfish, but you could call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just me tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three bob -cateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No problem. Oh, <laughs> I mean problem. <laughs> Who are you? Boo! <gasps> you scared me. I'm sorry, you asked who I am. Yes, I did. So, who are you? Boo! <gasps> Will you please stop doing that? Stop what? Scaring me. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Well, okay. So, What's your name? Boo! <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> My name is Boo! I'm a spookfish! A what? A spookfish! Everyone thinks we're all spooky and stuff because we have these clear see-through heads and because we can do this with our eyes. <laughs> See? Wow! That is spooky, Boo! <laughs> Told ya! According to the Gup Finder, the Gup E stuck right around here, inside that trench. Cap, our Gup won't fit in there. She's right. Tweak, you wait here. We may need that tow line. Quasi and I are going in. Hey, wanna play a game? Now? Oh, why not? It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. One of us looks around and says the first letter of what we see, and the other one has to guess what it is. It is kind of dark down here, but OK. I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. Is it a penguin? No. Plankton? No. Uh, oh, I give up. What is it? A polar bear. Oh. OK, my turn. I spy with my little... A polar bear? That polar bear is Captain Barnacles and Quasi. They've come to rescue me. Peso, are you OK? Aye, Captain. I got stuck down here when the guppy's battery died, but I'm fine. And who's that 
wee little guppy with you. Oh, this is my new friend. Boo! Uh, shiver me whiskers. What matter a wild ocean beastie is this? I'm not a beastie. My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. We can see right up to our heads. Aye, aye. Tweak, we're going to need that tow line. You got it, Cap. Let's hook it to the gup and pull her out of here. <clears throat> okay, lift her up. Steady, Tweak. Careful. <gasps> Yow! Cap, look out! What happened down there? You guys all right? We're okay, Tweak. But rocks fell over the gup, and now we can't move it. Captain, what are we going to do? After us! Hi, Captain, and I'm heading back to the octopod right now. Huh? Shiver, whiskers. I thought I was a hotshot pilot, but these little fishies put me to shame. Octonauts, can you see this? They're sardines, Quasi. Sardines always travel together in a school. But how do they all stay together? The scales on sardines' skin help them feel when other sardines are near them. That's how they stay together when they move. Yeah, a triple curlicue with a half-bike squiggle. I've got to try that. Quasi out. Now I'm going to show these little fishies some moves of my own. Ha-ha! <laughs> Get a load of that! A super fast foot turn with a backwards loop? Not bad. Hey, I top that! You're on! Backward roll over with, with a, a one, one and a half, half inward split! <laughs> you swim almost as well as a sardine! You're not too shabby yourself for a little flipper flapper! The name's Dina! Quasi! Maybe we'll have a rematch someday! You're on! Well, better get back to my school before they... Uh-oh. Did you lose your school? Well, I'll be glad to help you find them. No, thanks. I'm sure they didn't go too far. Bye, Quasi. Bye, Dina. Be careful, matey. Mmm, lunch is served. Ah! Not so fast, ye scurvy shark! Oh, no, lunch is cancelled. Oh, thanks, Quasi. I guess it's not so safe out here without my school. They say there's safety in numbers. True. That's why we sardines always travel in large schools. Then, when a fish who wants to eat us shows up, we swim in lots of different directions so it doesn't know who to follow. Clever. There's only one of me, but I'd be happy to take you safely to your school. That's very nice of you. Boss, there they are now. I know a shortcut through this old shipwreck. Ah! What happened? I'm caught in this old fishnet. Are you hurt, Quasi? Nah, I just bumped my head. Don't you worry, I'll get myself out of this mess. Ah, stuck. Maybe I could chew through the ropes. No, Dina, you go on ahead or you'll lose your school again. Nope. You didn't abandon me when I needed help. I'm staying here with you till I know you're okay. You're a brave lass, Dina, and a good friend. Come in, Quasi. Have you collected... Oh, squid! Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. Oh. What seems to be the problem? 